A very good day to all my dear friends. Today's recipe is a delicious snack made with naans. Sometimes after the party we have some leftover naans which don't taste as good when reheated. So you can use them in this way by making naan pakoras or besani naan. We all love pakoras so I'm sure you're going to love this snack as well. Though you may say it's a deep fried snack but once in a way it's fine we can indulge. And this is enjoyable especially in, on a rainy day with masala chai, nothing like it. Crispy layer outside and the naan inside becomes very soft on frying. So let's proceed and make these besani naans. Naan pakoras or besan wala naan. This is a delicious snack with a nice crunchy texture outside. And the inside naan is so nice, soft and buttery. Look at this, lovely. For this we'll require two potatoes cut into thin strips like this. And then of course we'll require besan or gram flour, two cups oil for frying, naans, two or as required, salt to taste, three or four small onions sliced finely, fresh coriander about one cup, you may add few mint leaves also, baking soda two pinches, green chilies two or more if you like it spicier, turmeric powder quarter teaspoon, red chili flakes half teaspoon or more as per your taste, one teaspoon of coarsely crushed coriander seeds, one teaspoon of crushed cumin seeds. Ingredients list also can be seen in the description box. Now let's proceed. Take a wider and larger bowl so that it's easy to mix. Transfer the onion into it and add a little bit of salt. Crush the onion with your hand. This will make the onion soft. Now add the potato strips. You could also add some grated carrot if you wish. Mix both of them and one by one add all the ingredients. Crushed cumin and coriander seeds, green chilies and turmeric powder, chili flakes, coriander leaves, Lots of coriander leaves taste really good. Mix them together and again crush them so that all the flavors are incorporated. This is done better with hand. Now add the basin little by little as required. Initially don't add water. First we are going to mix it with the own moisture that's released from the onion. Add two pinches of baking soda. Some more basin. Now start adding water little by little and mix. On resting this mixture will become little liquidy. Check the salt. Salt has to be perfect then only you will enjoy the snack. Rest it for a while. Meanwhile heat oil in a wider pan. It should be little bigger than the size of the naan. You can see now after some time the batter has become watery. Soak the bottom side of the naan and put the onion mixture on top. This goes only on top. Carefully using a spatula, slide the naan into the oil, hot oil. Pour little bit of batter over it. 
now the frying has to be done first on high then medium keep adjusting the flame in between because of the thickness of the naan it has to be cooked well after a minute or so carefully flip the side of the naan the other side will be fried for a longer time because it has got all the onion masala over it press it with a ladle like this to give it a crunchy texture now flip the other side again and fry that also a little bit this is quite nice and filling you can just have it for brunch also remove it when it's done on to a kitchen paper tissue same way fry the second naan lovely doesn't it look so nice and inviting you'll enjoy this in monsoons like we enjoy the pakoras look at the other side also is nice and crispy well done you can cut it into pieces with a pizza cutter and serve it you won't even require any chutney or sauce to go with it because this itself is nice chatpata can't wait to taste it how nice soft and crunchy layer on top yummy thank you friends and check out these videos from the archives as well stay tuned for more recipes take care bye bye